Welcome to our lecture online. Since this is such a difficult type of problem, let's do at least one more example. 20x squared plus 13x plus 2, how do we factor that? Again, the form is the ax squared plus bx plus c form. And we're looking for two numbers. In other words, what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this as 20x squared plus 2. And the middle term will now become the sum of two middle terms plus something x plus something x. So what that means is I'm looking for the two numerical coefficients, and those two numerical coefficients can be found by saying that the product of the two will be equal to the product of these two numbers, which is 20 times 2, which is 40, and the sum has to, of course, equal the number 13. So what two numbers, when you multiply, you get 40, and when you add them together, you get 13. Let's make this a little bit better. There we go. So we can start off maybe with the combination of uh, 8 and 5. When you multiply 8 times 5, well, notice 8 times 5, that gives us 40. And when you add them together, you get 13. Wow, in this case, I got very lucky. It doesn't always work that way, especially when you start out with numbers such as, uh, let's say, 12 and 1. And then you go to 11 and 2, and then 10 and 3. But sometimes we can cut through the chase, so to speak, by realizing that those first options will not get you to the number 40. And so you come up with something that you think might get close to the number. In this case, I end up, by luck, getting the right combination. 8 plus 5 gives us 13. 8 times 5 gives us 40. And so that gave me the right combinations. If you're not sure how to do that, you can simply go ahead and start with the combination 1 less, 1, 2 less with 2, 3 less and 3 with others, 12 and 1, 11 and 2, 10 and 3, that would be 9 and 4. And notice when you multiply, you get 12, 22, 30, 36. And notice you're getting closer and closer and closer to the number 40 by continuing this process. And notice the very next combination would have indeed given you 40, and that's another way to get there. Sometimes you can just kind of guess, sometimes you just go to the the systematic process. But once you have the combination, you then plug those numbers in. So you plug the number 8 in here, the number 5 in here, and now you're going to group them into groups of two terms. Here we can factor out, let's see, an x and a 4. So we factor out a 4x, which leaves us with a 5x plus 2. Here all we can do is factor out a 1, and we get 5x plus 2. Notice to get in the same format, I just simply factored out the 1. Then I can look at this term, I can look at this term and realize the common factor here is 5x plus 2. I can factor that out. And so this can be written as 5x plus 2. And what we have remaining is 4x plus 1. And this is the factored form of my original problem. So see, this is a very systematic approach and it will always get you to the right answer, barring, of course, any mistakes. And that is how it's done.